Jess. Jess Black. Find me at the lumber mill. The cook's days are fucking numbered. The only thing I want to hunt today is Trouser Snake. against a wall, if you get my meaning. You ought to write a book. One of those books that's just filled with wisdom that you read on the can at a fancy person's house. on coconut oil. It's a great lube. You can cook with it too, I hear. Just when I think you can't say anything to make me like you even more, you go and do just that.
giraffe in Jamaica. Clutch Nixon, the greatest stuntman in every aspect of known creation, donned a new wingsuit made from the skin of his most beloved dead pets. At the peak of his mental and physical health, after a lifetime of clean living and having achieved financial success beyond his wildest dreams, Clutch Nixon leapt off the mountain and was never seen again. After months of searching... No body was ever found, and Clutch Nixon was declared legally dead. But every year, hundreds of his most loyal fans throw themselves off this very cliff as tribute to their long-lost hero. God speed, Clutch Nixon, you magnificent son of a bitch. God speed.
your way! If Eli's so tough, how come this place is swarming with cultists?
got real hard, kid. I can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there, waiting for their indoctrination. <sighs> Thanks for springing Jess. That Nisamon is as tough as nails, but she's got a knack for trouble. Let's check in on her for me, would you? Name's Jess. Jess Black. Time to kill her. Where the hell'd she come from? You know, I'm not just a hot piece of ass. I can also fix helicopters. Ranger entered my forest. Your voice is so soothing. I barely heard your words. You sure as hell know how to handle yourself. Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I need your help. Amendment. It's important. I knew we'd take ass okay, let me start again. Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. Believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down, but a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. Personally, I love it when there's a deer head on the wall, because it's like... This way. Maybe the Resistance can get some use out of the equipment that's left. The only thing I want to hunt today is Trouser Snake. You think Russia fucks Robin Hood too, Jess? Seriously? I think it goes the bow and all. Just saying. We're telling you for it. Never go full furry, Sharky. You'll never come back. I knew Jake and Bake was up here, but I hope the locals had their shit on lock.
got some trouble just up ahead. gone south all the way to Texas. Bunch of assholes. They're gonna kill us all. I love your enthusiasm, sweetheart. Fucking Peggy's. We're dead. <laughs> no way. You got your boat? If I dislocate my shoulder, I better get free. I sure. Hey, you really use your help. Got your bow hunting license, Jess? Thanks for the sake. Got your flamethrowing license, I owe that cult some payback. The cook. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. There's more of us. The, the cook. Pick them up the mountain. Pick them up the mountain. Thought I was headed to the water. You should try a quieter weapon, I think. Like there were others. Bow? They yeah. picked them up the mountain. Okay, let's get moving. Jerky Can I please talk to you, food. miss? Preppers you want to know why they call him the cook? All right, then. A couple years back. Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up this family. Parents and kids. First thing he did was starve them. Gave them nothing. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. You need to watch yourself, Sharky. Old county's dry as a bone. I know. Trust me, I know. 
Can't find any drinks anywhere. I meant your fucking flamethrower. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. I like what the white tails are doing, but this place is like hardcore survival and shit, and I draw the line of drinking my own. Hold it. I think I heard something. If you say so, shoot sure. Let's look at what's going on. I'm gonna get a better view. You're gonna execute him. Take point. We got your back. Hey, we got trouble. Remember, if they spot us, those people are dead on sight. Okay, sweet cheeks. Well, they won't try that again. Hey, Auntie Addy, I, I don't know if you know that. Hey, Auntie Addy, I... I just saw my life flash right before me. It was like one of them rats. Can you help me? Super Y'all answered my prayers. All kinds of asses bouncing out. Please help me. Money. My husband. The cook took him to the pit. He's gonna burn him. He's gonna burn him alive! Hey! This bad What a bunch of assholes. Let's go. Addy Zander's young enough. You know your way around horses. I'm impressed. So the cook. He had the parents on posts and decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. Kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. Cook asked if they want pork. Kids said yes. So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market and the blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. Yo, yo, shorty. Hi, sweet cheeks. Pretty soon there were no more piggies left. And so he laughed and set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. Sharky, even you gotta have goals, ambitions. When they finally Close stopped it. screaming, I looked around. And he Sharky, was just even you gotta gone. have goals. 
Vanish like Sharky, some sort of demon. You gotta right. have goals, ambitions. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Let's take a better look. The weak are impure and unworthy! There he is. Their souls are plagued by filth! The weak are impure and unworthy! Watch me, I'm moving! Meander. Whatever that was, I'm on it. Your sin will be exposed! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! That's a better death than that piece of shit deserved. I'm down! Help me! That was a little more excitement than I wanted today. Oh, thought I'd feel better. Dutch was right. Cook's dead and... I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now... I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That just been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult. Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You, uh... You need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. 
for everything you've done. Well, they won't try that again. <laughs>